Welcome to Nottingham and this, the tale of Robin Hood. A minstrel am I, a teller of tales, a singer of songs, of deeds both noble and dastardly. You may call me Elena Dale. Today, my kind listeners, for just a penny in my guitar, I shall take you on a journey far, far back to the days of merry old England. In fact, to a time when England wasn't quite so merry. When a dark shadow of tyranny passed across the land and a hero emerged to... <sighs> but I'm getting ahead of my tale. For as in all things, with the what and the how comes first the why. In Nottingham, King Richard did proclaim to one and all that he would ride to Holy Land to see Saladin's fall. And so he left poor England in the grasp of Brother John, who taxed the people all they had and left them woe be gone. But from the ashes of their grief there came, there came at last some good and noble who protect them. And his name was Robin Hood. In the year 1189, King Richard the Lionheart set forth on Holy Crusade to the Holy Lands. He joined with his brother rulers to battle the Turk in that far off land. On the fateful day of his departure, he traveled to the seat of his power in the north, Nottingham, to make his glorious pronouncement. The lords and ladies, pray attend. His Majesty, King Richard the Lionheart, has an important announcement to make for one and all. Huzzah! Huzzah! Long live King Richard! Long live King Richard! King Richard! Thank you, good people and loyal subjects. Long have I been proud to be your king and ruler. Therefore, it is with a heavy heart that I tell you that today I must leave these magnificent lands and this noble shore. Oh, no, my lord. Aye, yeah, Lady Mary, it is true. For know you, I am called to a higher purpose. Today I go to the Holy Land to battle the godless Turk in that far off land! Huzzah! But fear not, good people. In my absence, I appoint my younger brother, Prince John, as regent in my stead. Obey him as you would me. Yes, obey me. <laughs> Take care of England, Prince John. Know you that England, the people of England, are its life's blood. True, I have not thought much of your leadership capabilities up until this point. But perhaps, with the heaviness of the responsibility, you will rise to the occasion, eh? No, oh, I'm certain I shall rise, brother. In my own way. Not like you, of course. I could not venture so bold a move as a crusade. It is a pity you cannot join me on crusade. The rigors of the road and the battlefield would surely make a man of you. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you for the offer, brother, but alas, it cannot be. My back, the pain, the pain. <laughs> Forgive him, good people. He has never been as hearty as we would like. Tis true that I now reconsider making you regent alone in my stead. Therefore, I name Baron Edward Fitzwalter as co-regent to rule alongside of you. What? No! Your, your Majesty, I'm not worthy. Surely your own brother. My own brother will need a cool head and a steady hand to run this ship of state. Come now, Edward, come now. You have been my advisor for many years. Surely would you not do the same service for my brother? But your Majesty, to uproot my entire family and move them from London to here in Nottingham? And, and what of my daughter Mary? Who's going to look after her while I'm embroiled in the running of the state? Running of the state! Uh, this is a very great honor for you. And Uncle Richard, I mean his majesty, would, would not have asked you if he did not think it were important. Do not worry about me. I have busy here to keep me safe. And old Fred Friar Tuck has come all this way here to protect me. With my sword or my life, if necessary, dear Marion. Well said, Friar. Well, what do you say, Edward? 
Your Majesty, it would be my honor to serve you alongside your good brother. No, just ah, one moment. Man. Silence, John. It is as I wish it to be. Take care of England, John. Remember that the people are the lifeblood of this land. Treat them with justice and compassion. Oh, they will uphold the law. I can promise you that. Good people! Farewell to all! Farewell, England! Long live King Richard! Long live King Richard! Thank you, good people. Bye bye. And so, the Duke of Prince John became regent of England and moved the centre of government to Nottingham, here in the north. Here he could rule as he saw fit and surround himself with friends and allies, tyrants, murderers, and oppressors. People of England, I promise as your sovereign to steer England's course with a firm yet gentle hand. And yet, too long have the insolence and laziness of the peasantry gone unchecked. This will not do in my England. And my word, dear people, is now law. Therefore, I hereby decree that all taxes due to the crown will be doubled. Ah, <laughs> Anyone who refuses to pay will be jailed. <laughs> Any who openly oppose the new tax laws will be hanged. Oh, my <laughs> Thievery, poaching, and rebellion will be met with swift retribution by the sword, the fire, or the axe. Each man shall know his place, and you filthy peasants will finally serve the lords who rule this land. Oh, aye, 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 aye. And to enforce my new rule, I hereby appoint my old friend and staunch supporter, George Monsu, the Baron of Doncaster, the Lord High Sheriff of Nottingham. George Monsu! That's insane! Father, who is he? He's the Prince's personal torturer, the cruelest man in England. Your Majesty, I, I, I must protest. Oh, silence, Baron Fitzwalter. My new laws will require someone to enforce them, will they not? The people are apt to react strongly to change, and the sheriff will be forced to keep them in check. Or oh, do you want them to rise up and sweep us from the castle? No. Is that what you want? Is it? No, of course not, Your Majesty. Very well, yes. Very well. Stand up for yourself. You are supposed to be his co-regent. Yes, I, I know, Mary, but it's not, not right now, though. Maybe everything will be all right, I'm sure. It, it will be fine. Father! Lady Marion. What? I grow weary of all this statecraft <laughs> and would enjoy a stroll about this simple country festival with a rose such as yourself upon my arm. Would you accompany me? Your Highness, I am actually not fearing very well right now, and with your kind permission, I would retire to my rooms with my maids. You poor dear, I will take care of her, Your Highness. All right, but I expect to see you at the joust later. As you wish, Your Highness. I will accompany the Lady Marion. The Lord is my witness, I will not see her wandering around with such cutthroats about. <laughs> Methinks the goodly friar doth not admire your particular talents, my lord sheriff. I hope he will not prove troublesome to you. I am untroubled, your highness. <laughs> I fear no retribution from man or God. No, you wouldn't, would you? Well, I shall leave these people to your tender mercies. <laughs> Thank you, your highness. <laughs> Hi. Good people of England. The new law spoken of by our noble Prince John will be enacted immediately. Taxes will be collected once a week, at my pleasure, by my Lord High Tax Collector, Somatic. Withholding of taxes shall be considered high treason against the Crown. England does not lack for rope, and he shall be accompanied on his tax-collecting excursions by my very own Captain of the Guard, Dick and Hazel, Aye. who has my full authority to enact instant punishment. And yet, 
We would temper justice with mercy. I would not deny a family its sole means of support. Therefore, any capital tax offense shall pass from the father to the firstborn child. Sir Medic, bring forth the uh, prisoner. Yes, my lord, with pleasure. Eat him. Get him. <laughs> oh, wait, no, not me. Here he is, Sir Medic. <laughs> Up you get, lad. Come on, then. Mercy. <laughs> Shut up, you. <laughs> this brat was working in the royal kitchens where he was caught stealing bread. Under Richard's law, he was dismissed from service, but otherwise unpunished. Today, we shall rectify this miscarriage of justice. I was hungry. Did you or did you not steal the bread? Yes, but... You uh, see? He admits it. Very well. What is your name, boy? Much, Your Honor. Very well, Much. Now, under normal circumstances, this crime would need the rope for you, my lad. But Sir Matic and I feel that to be a shameless waste of life. Therefore, I commute your sentence. Sir Matic, chop off his hands. Excellent, <laughs> my lord. Don't you don't, laddie boy. This to all who de defy Prince John's laws. Edgar, <laughs> even hold out his arms. Sir yes, Matic, carry out the sentence. What ho, my new lord high sheriff? Might I interrupt? Lastly. <laughs> well, well, well. Who? Robin of Loxley, a rustic noble. The people around here worship him, call him Robin Hood. This is the famous Robin Hood, eh? Interesting. I see you have captured a desperate criminal, my brave sheriff. Have you ever seen such courage, friend Will? <laughs> Not in my life, Robin. And look. All the forces of justice in Nottingham have assembled to ensure that this boy does not hack his way to freedom. What would you say to such fierce warriors, Robin? I would say England was in trouble, Will. And a lot of it. You'll be in a lot of trouble yourself, Loxley, if you try to interfere here. <laughs> Interference is my speciality, Somatic. This is the hero of the peasant classes, eh? I thought you amused yourself with living in the trees of Sherwood, Loxley. <laughs> Tis better to live in the trees when w hungry wolves like you hunt these grounds. Let me cram those words down his throat, your honor. Back down, Dickon. Sir Robin came all the way from Sherwood to greet us. The least we can do is show him our hospitality. Oh, you misunderstand me, my lord. I have come to give myself up. You see, this boy is my servant, so I feel a certain responsibility towards him. Uh, his punishment should be mine. Is this a trick? Of course it is, you idiot! Take one step closer and the boy dies. I beg you, mercy for us both. Mercy? For this dog? <laughs> Merrick, kill him. Come on in. Is there anything I can do to what? change your mind? I'll be, I'll be sorry that you did this. Yes, but that is a discourse for another day. But today, release the boy. He will not do it! <laughs> Damn you. Well, and justly done, Sheriff. I didn't think you had it in you. Well, farewell, but fear not. We shall meet again. Until then, here's something to remember me by. People of Nottingham, enjoy your festival day. Long live King Richard! Long live King Richard! Loxley, alias Robin Hood, is hereby declared an enemy of the state. His lands and title are forfeit to the crown. Any who are found to be giving him aid or comfort shall be subject to torture and imprisonment. A year's free of the king's taxes for anyone who brings him in, dead or alive. Now go! Come on, you rats! I must have this outrage the prince. Everyone out! <laughs> <laughs>